Good morning and welcome to the Vicarage study as we begin another daily prayer. Uh, it's Friday today and it's good to be able to welcome people to begin the day in prayer, to offer this day to God, to read the scriptures and to pray for the needs of the world. If you're watching live uh, as ever, please do give a wave and we'll try and welcome you. And also, if you've got anything or anyone you'd like to remember in prayer, then please do uh, write those down and we'll make sure that we mention those in prayer later on. Continuing to read Psalm 91, our psalm for the week. So if you have that uh, in front of you, uh, we'll obviously be using that a little later. And today's reading, as we're coming towards the end of this time of reading some of the letter to the Hebrews, and today it's chapter 13, verses 1 to 6. And again, if you've got that in front of you, do feel free to follow that as it's read out. Good morning to Angie and to Mike watching live at the moment. We'll begin with lighting the candle. If you've got a candle next to you uh, in your own space, then do light that as we welcome this day and welcome the Lord Jesus and his light. O God, creator of light, at the rising of the sun this morning, let the greatest of all lights, your love, rise like the sun within our hearts. Amen. morning to Anne and to Elizabeth as well. If you've got the order for morning prayer in front of you then we'll start now and do join in with the words in bold uh, or um, uh, with a psalm when we come to it. The Lord is good, a strong refuge when trouble comes. God is close to those who trust in him. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. If you've got the appropriate version of Psalm 91, we're going to say that psalm together now. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High and abides under the shadow of the Almighty, shall say to the Lord, my refuge and my stronghold, my God in whom I put my trust. For he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He shall cover you with his wings and you shall be safe under his feathers. His faithfulness shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of any terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, of the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor of the sickness that destroys at noonday. Though a thousand fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, yet it shall not come near you. Your eyes have only to behold, to see the reward of the wicked because you have made the Lord your refuge and the Most High your stronghold. There shall no evil happen to you, neither shall any plague come near your tent. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the adder the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Because they have set their love upon me, therefore I will deliver them. I will lift them up, because they know my name. They will call upon me, and I will answer them. I am with them in trouble. I will deliver them and bring them to honour. 
with long life will I satisfy them and show them my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. So our reading is from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 13, beginning at verse 1. And after the great awesome uh, sense of God yesterday, uh, now some practical advice to those who are reading it. Practical and very personal. Uh, it's a great sense of empathy in this reading about trying to imagine and put oneself in the place of those we are thinking about. Let mutual love continue. Do not neglect to show hospitality to strangers, for by doing that some have entertained angels without knowing it. Remember those who are in prison as though you were in prison with them, those who are being tortured as though you yourselves were being tortured. Let marriage be held in honour by all, and let the marriage bed be kept undefiled, for God will judge fornicators and adulterers. Keep your lives free from the love of money, and be content with what you have. For he has said, I will never leave you or forsake you. So we can say with confidence, the Lord is my helper, I will not be afraid. What can anyone do to me? This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my helper, I will not be afraid. What can anyone do to me? Good words to take onwards to today. Let us pray. the words, Lord hear us, please respond, Lord graciously hear us. Let us pray to the Lord who is our refuge and stronghold, as we say, Lord hear us, Lord graciously hear us. For the health and well-being of our nation, that all who are fearful and anxious may be at peace and free from worry. For those who have to make difficult decisions on our behalf. For doctors and nurses on the front line. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For the isolated and the housebound, that we may be alert to their needs and care for them in their vulnerability. For anyone we know who may need our prayers this day, Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For our homes and families, our schools and young people, for the head teachers and teachers of our local schools, for those who are finding homeschooling a struggle, for parents who feel that it is a burden. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For a blessing on our local community. For those who are working hard as volunteers to help their neighbours and friends. For the group that is coordinating that effort. our neighbourhoods may be places of trust and friendship, 
where all are known and cared for. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For those who are sick or ill, for Jean as she recovers from her operation, for Mrs Popal of Rug Hill, for Elspeth as she grieves the loss of her mother, Lord hear us, Lord graciously hear us. For the congregation and Christ Church and the community of Theo, and particular today for Sheila and Edwin Badman, Rhoda and James Badman and their family, Jean Bean, Bernard and Elizabeth Coulter, John and family, and Jane, Victor and Joe Daly, Sue and Peter Gudgeon. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And for the congregation of Allerton Church and the community of the Allertons, and today in particular for Kevin and Judith Ogden, Matthew and Lindy and Tabitha Paul, Molly Pierce, Dot and David Puddy, Nina, Steve, Jack and James Redding, Peter and Fiona duggan Reese, Alison Smith, Johnny and Fiona Torren Spence, Danny and family, Jack and Helen, Richard and Shirley Turner, and Alan Williams. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We conclude our intercessions with the two prayers on the order for daily prayer. And we'll say these together. Almighty and everlasting God, we thank you that you have brought us safely to the beginning of this day. Keep us from falling into sin or running into danger. Order us in all our doings and guide us to do always what is righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy in this time of uncertainty and distress. Sustain and support the anxious and the fearful and lift up all who are brought low that we may rejoice in your comfort knowing that nothing can separate us from your love in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. And as our Saviour Christ has taught us, so we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, thank you again for uh, joining us today. I haven't had a chance to yet to say uh, welcome to Karen and to Anne and to Sue who've been joining live. And we'll meet again tomorrow morning at nine o'clock for daily prayer. In the meantime, take care, everyone, and God bless. <laughs>